Yoda. Hear you, I do. It is I, Qui-Gon Jinn. That cannot be. Dead you are. No. I am part of the living force, Yoda. A, B, N. It's headphones, Steel! guys, Headphones Neil here with a very special review in the form of a character profile. So it's going to be a quick profile on Yoda. Um, so I got to thinking that I wanted to watch some episodes of Star Wars The Clone Wars and going into a little bit of the lore of um, Jedi being able to turn into Force Ghosts. So the whole idea of living in the Cosmic Force, something that the Sith cannot do. And it also provides a bridge between um, episode one, I want to say, um, or basically the the prequels and the original trilogy where um, Obi-Wan and Yoda are able to turn into Force Ghosts and then we have Yoda in the sequels again as a Force Ghost. So the trilogy of episodes in season six, um, notably Voices, Destiny, and Sacrifice, explore the idea of the trials it takes for a Jedi to um, retain their consciousness after death. So it's an idea of letting go, um, removing hubris, um, acknowledging and understanding the easy route versus the hard route and that the ultimate sacrifice must be made in, in order to retain your consciousness. So Yoda undergoes these trials in order to see if he's worthy and remove his hubris, which he's ultimately able to do. And it goes along the lines of unlearning what he's learned. So it's one of those things where after 900 years, he's kind of get, gotten set in his ways. And um, he's able to learn that and ultimately become Qui-Gon's teacher. So it basically expands on the conversation that he has with Obi-Wan at the end of Revenge of the Sith, where um, he gives Obi-Wan the idea of, or starts Obi-Wan on his training there to um, retain his consciousness. So overall, the trilogy of episodes is good because not only does Yoda learn about how he's become set in his ways and he's not necessarily, he hasn't necessarily um, mastered control over his darkness um, and he has hubris, but it teaches us about how um, Qui-Gon had ultimately learned more about the Force by not necessarily adhering to the rules and that he had become the wiser master. So um, if you want to learn a little bit more about the Force ghosts and the trials and all of that, it presents a slightly different um, idea of the Force and for example what we saw, what we see in the Mortis trilogy, I think around seasons three or four when we learn about Anakin's um, potential as the Chosen One and that he can bring balance to the Force because he's he is the balance between the light and darkness and he has to find that balance. He cannot stay as um, one or the other. So in this case with Yoda, it's that he's inherently on the light side and while he does have the dark side, um, he has become set in his ways to the point where um, um, he needs to unlearn those ideas, those principles and he needs to acknowledge his dark side, he needs to remove his hubris, he needs to... And then like for example, why he while he would want peace and all his... the former Jedi or the Jedi who had died to live, he, he wanted Dooku to have not fall into the dark side. He has to understand that that is a way of life and better learn to let go. So that's really all there is for this particular review. It's nothing, anything particularly special or or really different, but it provides some context and background to the, like I said, the conversation at the end of Revenge of the Sith between um, Yoda and Obi-Wan as far as um, starting 
um, Obi-Wan's path down, retaining his consciousness at, um, after death. A little bit more about the cosmic force versus the living force. Um, why Qui-Gon was the better Jedi Master. Because he has begun his path down this road and he had discovered this road to begin with. But was cut short because of um, the events of the Phantom Menace. And then ultimately, while Luke is in address, um, how Luke can have um, become a force ghost without much explanation. Because in my opinion... Um, he realized the ultimate truth about the Jedi and the Sith and the Force and all of that. So he kind of started down that road already. So overall, a good trilogy of films to expand on the lore of the Force. So de I definitely recommend giving those a watch. So um, like I said, they're the season six finale episodes, the last three. So episode 11 is Voices, episode 12 is Destiny, and episode 13 is is sacrifice so definitely uh i definitely definitely recommend giving those a watch so that you can get a better understanding of how the concept of force goes and the cosmic force and life after or the retaining consciousness af of after death works um and then you get for example you get uh, qui-gon's voice you get a special appearance by darth bane you get um, some sith sorcery with uh, palpatine and Dooku, so overall good episodes there. But that is all for this particular episode. Um, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01 to comment on this post, give your feedback, what you liked, didn't like, something I missed, or things like that. Um, the website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode, and until next time.